itself because they're also creating these shapes as well kind of more centered then they expand decide to take the long route and then they boom contract look at that man I just felt like she was floating as she was doing that. Which worked. This is like the perfect angle for this, man. When I think of doing choreography, I always think of the pictures first before the intricacy. What is the audience going to see? Like this big movement? Like how do I get to this movement? Is it going to be like a ta da quick intricate movement? Is it going to be like a direct movement? Or is it going to be indirect? Like da 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 ba. And then they go with the in-betweens. So it's almost like animation. Very clean mo movements right here. Very subtle. Like I barely noticed that. See that the little drop to create that level. This is head nod. I don't know. It kind of felt silly. Look at that friggin' taking an airplane to the next all across the world. Her. Jesus, man. That is a lot of traveling. We're going from there to there. And how many, what's your, how many counts you have? Three, four, five, six, four count props. I'll motion here. Now let's think of these formations as shapes. Now they have created another shape. Then look how spread out they are. They are part of the choreography itself because they're also creating these shapes as well. Kind of more centered. Then they expand, decide to take the long route, and then they, boom, contract. Look at that, man. This is here. That's at 28 seconds about. Okay, in about seven seconds, they do this. 35 seconds now. Three, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, four, five, six, and three eight counts. They move that much. Jesus Christ, man. Seven, I like this little aisle illusion that they do. Hello. Oh, bam. If I did a close up right here, surrounded in a forest or something, or like a curtain kind of effect. It frames her in a sense to be there. And then freedom. Cute little like picture here as they spin, bam. And nice use of balance or asymmetry here. One person here, big group here. And it's also just the use of weight, bigger group here. And then also balance on stage left and then stage right. And then the single light and heavy. Friggin helicopter spin from stage left all the way to center. Look at that big step compared to her. Better fucking get to my spot. Nah, nah, did. Cause that's what I'm getting paid for. Another formation change. It's clever too. It's they use a swipe formation. Swiper, no swiping. God, another formation change. Three, two, two into a V formation. What makes the choreography fun to watch is the fact that it's very big shapes and it's not like very intricate, not inner silhouettes where it's like in front of your body and you're doing some stuff right here. Da, 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 da. Love hierography into that thread. It's so clever. One, two, three, four. So it's a nice little ripple. Boom. Thread. Sp spreading it back out. Great use of the floor here because they had attention to center. Then they bring it over here. So much movement's happening because they had your attention here with all the members spread out and they switch over to this next thing right here to now here with the members in a diagonal. This is one of the reasons I like seeing the tower cams because these are the shapes that are being created at, through these movements in terms of expanding, contracting, changing the directions, the heavier side, a light side, the asymmetry. This lens or shot doesn't do this justice. I see what they're going for in terms of this ripple. Nice. Boom, graceful touch. Yeah, that's what's happening. Little Harlem shake. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they had like five formation changes in five counts. They are traveling. It's kind of a perfect number too. You can see everyone. No one's really getting covered. Six, eight. The hierography came back. Love that move. Bah, bah. 
Boom. Again, great use of weight, like, and direction too. Bigger, heavier side, like, in terms of amount of people, assuming that this is like center, center. So nice little asymmetry. And then the direction of the eyes being up here, their heads at a diagonal, brings you back to the person, oh, that's taking a nap. Love the hair thread, man. An anime intro song, man. It's so good. Up there in terms of my top favorite girl groups. Definitely a massive amount of transitions within like seconds. Nice clean transitions, especially going from like stage right all the way to stage left. Jesus, one, you have to get there. Two, you have to dance. And three, I'm assuming that they're still singing. Amount of energy costs from there, as cool as it was. I don't think it was economical in terms of like preserving your energy for the important thing, which was singing. Great musicality. I love the hairography. Let's hop on to performance. All right, so that's it. If you guys want more, click on all the things here. If you want to watch more content, reaction videos, and DKB. And if you want early access, become a patron. And if you want to request, become a patron. Uh, that's the only way I'm doing requests. And I'll see you guys in the next one.